My favorite curly hair products to invest in are the ones that help plump, thicken, and volumize my fine curls, and I thought it would be a good idea to share some of those in this video. So stay tuned as I share the shampoos, sprays, lotions, creams, mousses, and fibers that give me some of my best hair days. Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Disco Curls TV. If you're new here, welcome. My channel provides tips on how to care for your fine curly hair so that you feel empowered and supported to be the best version of yourself. I post weekly and I'd love to have you subscribe and join my community here because I do product reviews, curly hair tutorials, pregnancy and postpartum hair chat, and much more. So before I start this video, let me just disclaim out there that what works for me may not work for you. Um, we may have different curl types, um, or your hair might be color treated, or something like that. You might find some products to be too heavy or too light for you, or you don't want to work with certain ingredients, and that's okay. What I found is that trial and error is going to be your best friend in your product search, and these are just some of my personal favorites. So first up is the Shea Moisture Dragon's Blood Shampoo and Conditioner. It's designed to plump up flat thinning hair, which is something I do go through, especially postpartum. It's a gentle sulfate-free formula that contains dragon's blood, coffee cherry, shea butter, as well as black currant and barrage oils. What I like about this is that it's really lightweight. The shampoo is really gentle and my hair always feels really soft after I use it. The conditioner is also light but still moisturizes really well. It's perfect for those of us with finer curl types and it's a really good prep for your stylers so that your curls remain weightless. Next on the list is the Aveda Volumizing Tonic. This is a newer product for me that I've been trying out and it's a spray that I like to add to my roots while my hair is still damp. It contains certified organic aloe and wheat amino acids and it really has a beautiful scent. So like I was saying, I apply this on my roots when my hair is damp and I like to pair it up with the mousse because it gives me weightless curls and lots of lift at the root. And to amplify the effect, I also like to use a diffuser. Speaking of mousses, currently the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curly Mousse is a hot ticket item that myself and many of my curl friends are raving about right now. Mousses give curly hair a ton of volume, which makes the hair look thicker than it actually is. This particular one is free of alcohol, parabens, dyes, phthalates, and now even silicones. It keeps your curls moisturized and defined, but very soft with a light hold. It also provides humidity control, and it's safe for natural and color-treated hair. This is one of those products that I just love because it gives me second day hair on day one. All right, now this next one, ugh. This just breaks my heart, but I just found out this was discontinued and the only reason I'm still promoting it is because I can still find it online. This is the Hask Biotin Boost Thickening Cream. <sighs> Why does this keep happening? I promote my favorite thickening cream and now it's discontinued. This is like the second time it's happened. I checked Walmart online, but it's currently sold out and the only other place I've seen it is on Amazon for double the price. So if you want this, it's going to cost you. Anyway, the reason why this is so amazing is because it was one of the only creams that could clump my curls together so well and make them look thicker. It contains biotin, collagen, and coffee. It's free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, gluten, drying, alcohols, artificial colors, all that crap. Um, and it's really lightweight overall. And I like to add it after my leave-in conditioner and before my styling cream. But now everything's ruined, so I need to find another replacement. If any of you can find it at a reasonable price somewhere or have a replacement to suggest, please comment below and let me know. Next on the list is the OGX Moroccan Sea Salt Spray. Now many of you may not be into sea salts because they are super drying and curly hair is already so dry, right? Well, this is not something I suggest using every day for that very reason and you really don't need to use a lot of this to be effective. But this does work really really good for making your hair get full fast. It smells really good and it contains sea salt for texture and sea kelp for moisture but don't get it twisted it's not going to make your hair moisturized. You want to make sure that you are deep conditioning and treating your hair right if you do plan to use this. The way I like to use it is on old two or three day hair that already has a cream buildup going I spray this from the mid shaft area down to my ends while my head is flipped upside down and I do some light scrunching. Once my hair is air dry, it gets so much more volume 
And you can also use this on damp hair. Just make sure it's detangled well before, and I would probably only use this in combination with some sort of moisturizing cream, but not by itself. And so this is one of those products that probably won't work well for everyone, so just use trial and error to see if it works for you. And also let me know if you'd like a video on how I use a sea salt spray for volume. Lastly on my list are Topic Hair Fibers. Now this is one of my best kept secrets because people constantly comment on how my hair looks so thick but it's all lies girl, it's all lies. <laughs> this is a scalp edge and part concealer that looks so natural. It will fill in your thinning areas, it'll conceal hair loss, provide a root touch up between your colors, coloring excuse me, and just overall make fine hair look thick and full. The product itself is made of keratin protein that attaches itself to your existing hair to make it look thicker. This also washes out really easy and it's wind, rain, and perspiration resistant. And that completes my list of my favorite thickening products for fine curly hair. I'd love to hear from you guys about your favorites down below in the comments, especially on this particular topic because I'm always looking for the best thickening product for fine curls. So please, please leave your favorites down below. If you're new to my fine curly crew, I'd love to have you subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you are properly notified of when I post new content. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.